So let's look at an example time card, and that's for Jade Greenstone. So the steps, it says, first calculate the number of hours she worked every day, then compute her total weekly hours and her gross weekly wages. Anytime there's nothing written in a box, it means she must not have worked those times. So on Monday, she may have worked in the morning, had a lunch break, and then worked in the afternoon, but she did not work in the evening. Same thing with Tuesday. She did not work in the evening. Wednesday, looks like she was off for the morning, but worked afternoon and evening. Let's take a look at how many hours Jade Green worked. Now, every day is different, so we could have to do this multiple times. In order to do this, we're going to look at it in parts. So on Monday, she worked from 8 till 12, took an hour break, and in the afternoon worked from 1 till 5. We're going to treat each of those as a part that goes together, and then put them together as a total for that day. Let's change those from time to decimals. Well, there's no minutes on these, so that's pretty straightforward. That's 8 hours, and that's 12 hours. So if I take the second one and subtract the first one, 12 hours minus 8 hours, I end up getting 4 hours. So Jade worked 4 hours in the morning. In the afternoon, she went from 1 o'clock till 5 o'clock. So take the second one, convert them into hours, 1 hour, 5 hours. Let's take the second one, subtract the first one, 5 hours minus 1 hour. Jade worked 4 hours in the afternoon. So the total hours, I put those both together, 4 plus 4 gives me 8 hours. Let's put it on our table. Move on to Tuesday. Convert them into a decimal. I've got 8 hours and 11 hours. Take the second one, subtract it by the first one. 11 hours minus 8 hours means that Jade worked 3 hours in the morning. Let's do the second one. Convert them into decimals. 1 hour, 4 hours and 30 minutes. Well, I've got 4 hours. And remember, 30 minutes is 0.5 hours. Take the second one, subtract the first one. 4.5 minus 1 hour equals 3.5 hours. Add those two together. 3 hours plus 3.5 hours give me 6.5 hours. So on Tuesday, I'm going to put in 6.5 hours. Let's move on to Wednesday. Turn those into decimals. Subtract the first one from the second one. That gives her 4 hours in the afternoon before she went for her supper break. Let's do the evening shift. 9.15, well, that's going to be 9 hours and 15 minutes. We're going to Write that as 0.25, because that's a quarter hour. Let's subtract the two. Gives me 3.25 hours. Add those two together, gives me 7.25 hours. Put that in our chart. So as we look at these, there's some you can probably look at and do quite easily. 8 till 11, 1 till 5. Those are nice, neat, even hours. But as soon as we start dealing with parts of an hour, quarters of an hour, it doesn't hurt to break it down and subtract it the way we've been doing. So some like this and this are more complicated. These ones start getting more complicated. So let's just keep on going with these ones. Thursday, we've got those two pairs, pairs of time. Turn them into decimals. 8 hours and then 11.45 is 11. And 45 minutes is 3 quarters of an hour, so 11.75 hours. Do our subtracting. In that morning shift, Jade worked 3.75 hours. On to the afternoon. 1.15 is 1.25 hours. 5 hours, well, that's just 5 hours. Let's subtract them. In her afternoon shift, she also worked 3.75 hours. Add those together to work a grand total of 7.5 hours. Let's put that in the chart. Friday. Looks like Jade had a nice long lunch hour and got off early at the end. Turn those into hours. 8 hours and 30 minutes is 8.5 hours. 11 hours and 15 minutes is 11.25 hours. Subtract the two. Remember taking the second one first. 11.25 take away 8.5 should give me 2.75 hours. Doing the same thing with the afternoon shift. 145 should be 1.75. And 415 should be 4.25. Subtract the two. We get 2.5 hours. Add them together, we end up with a total of 5.25 hours. Jade didn't get that many hours in on Friday. And let's end it with Saturday. Okay, converting these into decimals, 130 is 1.5 hours, 445 is 4.75 hours. Let's subtract the two. On Saturday morning, 
Jade worked 3.25 hours. On the evening shift, 6.15, we'll write that as 6.25 hours. 9.45, we're going to write that as 9.75 hours. Let's subtract them. That gives us 3.5 hours for the evening shift. Add 3.25 hours and 3.5 hours together and you get 6.75 hours. That's what she worked on Saturday. Let's put that in the chart. And Jay didn't work at all on Sunday. Well, if we go to figure out what her total weekly hours are, we're going to take all of these numbers and add them together. Altogether, that adds up to 41.25 hours. Now, it sounds like that's probably overtime because it's over 40 hours. We're not going to worry about that on this question. To figure out what Jade's gross weekly wages are, we're going to take the number of hours and times it by her hourly rate of pay. So 41.25 hours times $9.45 an hour gives me a total wages of $389.81. There is Jade's gross weekly wages for that week.